Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Omar SMS. Yes, we're back with a new Apex Legends video. Now in this video, it's not gonna a guide video, it's nothing but for fun. Uh, so I've seen a lot of guys posting some recommended settings that I need to try. And I was like, why not? Let me try to put my opinion and put reviews for it. Um, it's not a bad thing, you know what, uh, to try something new and uh, try everything and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna put a review overall on how everything is. So let me go straight without wasting your time, guys, all right? So we're gonna try to do settings. We're gonna try with settings. Let's try everything, all right? Let's try classic, linear, high velocity, ALC, every kind of settings, all right, let's go. Okay, now for, for first of all, we're gonna be with 6.4. This is as our main thing. Now let's try with classic first. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're gonna try small desert or none because we're gonna try the response curve more to focus on the response curve. So let me try classic now while I'm playing. Let me see. All right. So oh yeah, let me see. Let me let me try to shoot a, a guy here. All right. Hmm. It's pretty accurate and very easy to land shot with but it has a little bit of recoil but it's really really good actually i'm not gonna lie yes yeah, really it feels really good it feels like you have a lot of msc it feels you have like a lot of msc and more uh, consistent aim than usual Yeah, to be honest, this is really perfect, man. This is really nice. Uh, I'm not gonna put the review right now. I'm gonna just try others and others, then put the review, and you guys can tell me your opinion. Now, let me try Steady. Uh, a lot of people, some people play Steady. I never played, I mean, I played Steady in the start of the game, but I stopped playing it. Let me see now how it is. Uh, let me see the difference first. Oh, okay, I, I can notice the difference. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, I can notice the difference already. Oh man. Yeah, it feels like the steady has a higher response curve than classic. All right, so classic is less response curve, steady is more. That's why I felt because it takes more time to maneuver from up to down and all that. I can tell it feels like dead zone, but I know it's not dead zone because we have dead zone none. So yeah, it's more less responsive. It is less responsive. Okay, let me draw. Go with fine aim. We never tried this. It's been a very long time. Ne never tried this. Let me see. Okay. Uh... But to be honest, this is probably the worst one I've tried right now, and I'm just gonna tell you why. It feels like fine aim. Um, it feels like it barely move, even though if you move right here, left and right, you can see it barely move. But once you push the analog first, then it suddenly moves. You know, what I mean, I don't know if you guys get it, but it feels like it doesn't perform what you need unless you just push it all the way and it suddenly performs it if that makes sense you know like i'm just trying to push it and then when i push it all the way it just suddenly pushes look look how it suddenly do that so yeah it's gonna be really hard and really frustrating i really don't recommend this one by the way high velocity let me see high velocity. oh my god what is oh my god what, okay i need i probably gonna put small deaths on for this now this is high velocity let me see Wow, this is the fastest thing I've ever seen. Now, what is this? It feels like I'm playing on a mouse and keyboard. No way, what is that? There's no way you can play with this. What is this? No, for real, what is this, man? <laughs> Let me know. Let me put large this on. Still the same. I don't know what is this. Um... High quick response curve for the very, for very even-handed. It's not like very even-handed, man. It feels like strong. It, I don't know. It's just weird. Feels like you you need to barely move your hand. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. That sucks. That sucks. 
Uh, let me try linear. I don't know what's happening with the lag here. Okay, here we go. Let's try linear. Lanier is a raw input, as it says. Hmm. Wow, the lag is just unfortunate, man. Okay, here we go. Alright, let me now try the ALC. I can tell already the differences between all. Don't worry, really guys. Uh, ALC, let's see. Now we want to see ALC. Let's try ALC with classic. Or let's say let's try ALC, ALC in between, like it, like that. Seven. That's what I use. Okay, let's 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 try this one. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. It's, it's enough. All right, I did enough. So let me tell you guys what I felt and what it has been. So first of all, I showed you all the clips because I needed you guys to see uh, my experience in between this. The first thing I noticed is that Classic is probably the best one. Probably the best one overall. Because I'm just going to tell you why. Because it's, it is not linear i know it is not raw input but at the same time classic feels like you can do a lot of things the same as you do in linear you know what i mean it's not gonna be like steady which is hard to move it's gonna be easy to move once you get used to it with a lower death zone so yeah classic is not impossible classic is really good uh, as for aiming aiming is probably the best thing in classic as for hip firing the only thing that matters is aiming but hip fire is gonna be a little bit bad compared to linear so yeah the only disadvantage is the hip fire but overall it's really really the best thing i'm just gonna give it an a plus uh, i don't feel anything there is missing even the hip fire can be getting used to you can get used to the hip fire for now it's really good the steady response curve i feel like it's close to classic but at the same time it is less response curve so the problem is that you cannot there are things that you cannot do and i'm pretty sure you cannot track enemies easily as you do in classic or linear so it's just gonna be a lot a lot of problem a lot of bad things gonna happen with steady um I feel like SETI deserves a C plus in my opinion because some people also play SETI but it's not really my type and I don't think it's really good it has a lot of disadvantages fine aim um, I'm, I'm just gonna give it an, an F which you should not use immediately because the reason i'm saying this is just because there's things that's called sudden movement this one is gonna be so disturbing in the middle of the fight or while you're looting and it's gonna be affecting your muscle memory a lot so i don't really recommend this you can see right here you cannot just go like like that really fast it is gonna be a problem it is gonna be a problem even though settings are just personal preference but these two find him and the next one that i'm just gonna mention are f because i don't really recommend them at all even though if you're used to them, I recommend to change them because these things are really one of the worst, worst thing I've ever tried. <laughs> now, let me go to high velocity. This is a definitely an F. It's not a raw input like linear. It feels like it's moving by itself while you're just moving. The it feels like the analog is just doing like that all the way and just trying to hold it down. It is really bad experience and I feel like anyone that is used to high velocity is just making himself suffer more. He loves to suffer probably. <laughs> now let me go straight with linear. Linear is also one of the best, best sense ever. It is one of the best because it's raw input and at the same time it, you can get used to it and it's not impossible. It's not like high velocity or, or whatever it's called. It's gonna be so good with tracking. It's gonna feel like everything is so perfect. You just need time to get used to because the MSS feels less because it is called raw input. So you're gonna feel less uh, less MSS. It's just normal to feel less MSS but with tracking it's one of the best things that and best experience you're gonna notice. But there's a fact that you guys should know that classic 
is gonna beat linear and i'm gonna put linear in a not a plus and i'm gonna tell you why the reason why i put in linear right here even though a lot of players now are playing linear and they are one of the best players but classic overall is gonna beat linear compared to aiming as a controller uh, because the controller focused more on aiming uh more most of this a lot of stuff you can do with linear but classic is something that you can actually uh get used to like abuse all right it's gonna you're gonna abuse the weapons for real like you're gonna land a lot more shots with classic even if you have a good aim with linear i feel like you're gonna be a better aimer with classic and no not like that only uh because also of course that most people can get used to classic easily than getting used to linear and that's what i feel so yeah i'm gonna put classic more than linear as for a custom alc i'm gonna put this in the s tier which is more than a plus and i will explain why and i'm just gonna recommend it over and over and over it's because you can create everything you guys can see here i'm putting seven response group which is between linear and classic which you cannot do in the normal settings and you can feel my aim and movement are better and faster than classic and you can feel it's close to linear at the same time it's not linear so yeah it's really really good i like that so i recommend this guys and that was it i think that was it guys for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a long video i just wanted to make sure that you guys understand which are the benefits and which one is better or not uh linear classic alc are all good you can you guys get used to linear if you want to uh and get used to that if you want to be more experienced and create something then try alc i talk a lot about the settings guys because now the season is coming so i want to help you guys anyway see you guys in the next one peace